Hello, Mario Fontes here today with Dr. Gary Gordon. Good evening, Dr. Gordon. Good evening to you. Thank you for allowing me to interview you today. So you are internationally recognized as an expert on chelation therapy and anti-aging medicine. And you also consult for serious conditions such as stage four cancer. Yes, indeed. We've really turned medicine around. Recently, you were featured in Suzanne Summers' book, called Toxic, From Toxic to Not Sick. And in it, she features six top doctors. We're proud to say that you're one of them. From what I've learned uh, from you over the years, it seems that you are not only a chelation specialist, but all of your recommendations to your patients involve a huge component of detoxification. What would you say the five most common toxins making people sick today are, and where did they come from? Well, the list is so long, I hate to narrow it down to only five, because there's the easy ones that everybody's beginning to understand, the heavy metals, lead, mercury, cadmium, arsenic, these are ubiquitous, they're in everybody, and according to Harvard Medical School, the lead is there at least 1,000 times higher in your bones than they were just 700 years ago, and it is the single most proven factor influencing how long you get to live, and it doesn't go out of your bones in less than 15 years, whether you do IV or oral chelation, and that's just the heavy metals. But the frightening thing in Suzanne Summers' book is she points out that if you go to Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York City, Dr. Philip Landigan, who's the chief, has to charge you from eight to $14,000 just to measure 120 chemicals, toluene, B PCBs, bisphenol A, and the ubiquitous Roundup glyphosate that has been brought to us by none other than Monsanto that has changed the entire planet. So whichever one of these we pick, it's hard for me to take just five, but it's important to change our thinking to realize that no one is going to reach their maximum intended useful lifespan, enjoying the health that I now enjoy at age 80, unless you do something. It's just like you don't drive a car a million miles without doing something in the way of maintenance. Suzanne has done a good job of waking people up because everybody can understand mercury. We see it if we look in our fillings. We can see mercury in our mouth and we know it's in the seafood, so you don't have to look very far. But most people aren't aware that their mother, when she was carrying you as a baby, her body is more important than yours and she was busily getting the lead out of her body into your baby's body. It concentrated in you as a baby. So no one can escape the fact, I repeat, a minimum of a thousand times too high. So when you start talking about toxins, yes, I really see my future as being Dr. Detox. I do too. So here at Natural Medicine and Detox, you've helped us develop a lot of services and that help people detox. Can you talk specifically about some of the therapies that we recommend, colonics and how they help? I love to because we are all full of it and need to clean it out once in a while. And so there isn't any time that you'll feel better than if you have a clinic at this wonderful center that understands how toxic all that stuff is. We can't get rid of everything with a single bowel movement. And in fact, I have seen such miraculous things happen that we might think, well, how often should I really go in for a clinic? Because so many people think, well, I have two bowel movements, I have three bowel movements a day, I don't, I couldn't need a colonic. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that no matter what we're doing without a colonic, we're not getting the cleaning, we're not getting in the deeper cleaning so that your brain is operating without all those toxins because anything that's down inside of you is getting into your bloodstream and it's affecting your judgment and your memory and your vision. And you've taught us how to use ozone with our colonics. And the ozone is such a basic thing. I mean, if you think about it, ozone helps you use oxygen more efficiently. 
and the level of oxygen in our big cities, it's being eaten up by the cars. There's virtually nothing left. It's really a simple fact that we do not have the level of oxygen available for us to really feel as good as we want to feel. So I was lucky. My father was a physician when I was 14 years of age. My job in his office was to put people in a bag and fill it up with ozone. That only takes you back 65 years ago. And so you need to know that I have been a believer in ozone because my father's practice in Madison, Wisconsin, we were close to the Mayo Clinic and he took care of all the Mayo rejects. They came to him. What kind of patients need ozone? Anybody that wants to operate optimally, if you're just trying to beat the examination next week at school, if you're just trying to be able to beat everybody in the, in the endurance contest coming up, or if the doctors are telling you, we don't know what's wrong, but we think it's pretty serious, it could even be cancer, you don't need to have a big diagnosis. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get it to the point that what we're talking about with ozone and colonics is as simple as it used to be that you didn't wait until there was a low signal on your car showing no oil pressure. You used to check the oil, and if it wasn't up there, you used to add it. Mm -hmm. So we need to understand maintenance is essential for health. How does that work with the infrared saunas? The far infrared sauna, I can tell you, the Attorney General of the State of Utah was nice enough to write a letter to explain that he had three police officers who, in the carrying out of their duties, on doing a meth lab raid. They, had, they were exposed to so many chemicals, they permanently lost their own name and they didn't know their wife's name. They went on lifetime disability. So the Attorney General was astonished when a doctor in Utah said, I'm willing to show you that you can get those toxins out with a far infrared sauna but everything that I'm talking about is for dedicated people that really want to put the energy in. They stayed eight hours minimum a day at the sauna. They got out when they were too hot, but they were there for one or two or even three months. But all of them have complete return of faculty. They're no longer unaware of what their wife's name is and they're back to full function. So I am of the opinion that at age 80, 80 is the new 40. But my opinion is backed up because I know that I'm far healthier now than I was for much of my life. But it's quite an investment. What I take in the way of supplements every day, absolutely many of you won't be able to afford. And to point it out, I happen to own the clinic so I could afford 200 intravenous chelation. I could see that when I took the eighth chelation, I, who could never go up a flight of steps without going into heart failure, after the eighth chelation, I could run up the side of a mountain and wear out a two-year-old Irish setter. The setter was going, ha, 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 and I was feeling great because I, for the first time, did what I've always been told. Get the lead out. Get the lead out. So you've also developed a unique oral chelation. The oral became a, to make things affordable because technically you can't take a deep breath of air without getting a little lead and you can't drink any water. You can't do anything. You can't eat food without getting lead because we really have chosen to take the lead from the earth and put it into the leaded gas and it's no way you're not going to be able to ever have a lead-free environment. Since the intravenous was something that I needed because I was so sick, but now when it's something you can do day after day, year after year, oral does magnificent things. I don't have any patients dying of a heart attack or stroke in over 15 years. Even if they've been told they're inoperable, their arteries are all blocked, the oral chelation, because you can take it every day. But it's not, again, the kind of thing that you take it for a month and, oh, I got all the lead out. You will feel great. But if you stop taking it, your bones take 15 years to continue to move lead from the bones back into your heart, your brain, and your eyes. It's always going from the bone into the rest of your body. So oral chelation is truly miraculous, and I'm so lucky that I stayed with the research on chelation. And now we've gone way beyond just the chelation. We're into this new age of the need for total detoxification and 
For example, when I tell you that you're loaded with bisphenol A, and you don't even know where you got that, but you can't, uh, on a hot day in a new car, all your breathing is fumes from the plasticizers, and you're getting bisphenol. We now have recycled our toilet paper. So when you wipe yourself, you have BPA on the toilet paper going on to sensitive tissues. So don't think that you can avoid the poison. My job is to teach you that the poisoning is interacting negatively and how smart you're going to be when you're 80 and 90 and 100. So it might be worthwhile to learn what are the simple maintenance things. And it's simple, but it isn't overnight. You can't just do one sauna and say, well, I've done a sauna. I told you. The Attorney General said that some of those people took eight hours a day for more than a month. If you're patient, your body wants to be well. Mm -hmm. But we need to take the right supplements. I, can't, I don't go a day. Gladys Pauling was my friend. He taught me that he would need a lot of vitamin C because if you're taking vitamin C, it will leave your body. When it leaves your body, it's a chelating agent. It's taking the lead out. I wrote the book about the omega-3 miracle, and I have written many books now on all the need for the nutritional supplements that we are now getting into zeolite. And zeolite is taking care of some of these things so you don't have to spend quite that much time in the sauna. Because the zeolite does get some of these organic toxins and we really are able now to start to fight back against the simple thing that when I continued to eat food that wasn't organic, I was getting the preservatives and the chemicals in the food, which then killed the good guys. So we now have every top doctor that is honest will agree, you need to have a probiotic. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we had antibiotics in our food, and we have Monsanto's Roundup in our food, so we've killed everything that belongs down here. When you were healthy, we had 30,000 different organisms down here. Now we're lucky to find 6,000, and if you're really sick, you're down to 3,000. We now have a product called Restore for Life, which actually works in a magical way to start to bring you back to the 20,000 and 30,000. A wonderful breakthrough so that I won't need to have so many colonics in order to be terribly healthy. I won't have to be living in the sauna every day if I'm doing everything right then a few treatments with the far infrared sauna, a few ozone treatments, a few colonics can set you up where you want to be. But if you're in deep trouble, please be patient. The body needs a lot of help. We have poisoned our nest. And that was why I was so glad when Suzanne Summers called me and she said, I need a chapter from you in our new book, Tox, T-O-X, I've been sick. In other words, you're sick and why? Because you're toxic. She played a play on words. But I wrote the chapter and they're saying, why your hormones don't work anymore? So we've come up with answers that we can make the body have the healthy internal environment. Because when you don't have good guys down here, the bad guys take over. And everybody has candida and klebsiella and bad infections that they can't get rid of. Because unless I can get all the good guys living down here, bad guys, see, there, hey, there's an empty plant right there. Mm -hmm. It's got running water. I think I'll move in. And so one of the other things that you're also using with the ozone is the ultraviolet blood irradiation. That is really, that is so amazing because, you know, we use light in wonderful ways. If you watch television, you will see that they now have a little laser that they put over your knee. And if you're scheduled for total knee replacement, the energy from that light can help many people cancel the need for complete knee replacement. So light's amazing. So ultraviolet blood irradiation is just taking the ozone concept and giving you a whole other dimension as to what can I do to give my body the tools to fight back. Now I want to ask about homeopathy, uh, traditional forms of healing, and your new cyberscan that works on uh, homeopathic principles. Well, it's so amazing, isn't it, that when, when you realize that if you have a poison in the body, the body has many mechanisms of trying to deal with that poison. And homeopathy just was an observation that if you took a very weak solution of the poison that was killing you, 
your body seemed to all of a sudden know what to do. And I had a child brought to me that was having four to five seizures every hour. They had been to UCLA, UCSF, and Stanford, seen the heads of pediatric neurology. Nobody could stop the seizures with anything. Why did they come to me? Well, I'm talking now 35 years ago. I wasn't totally known as Dr. Detox, but they heard that I was interested in these problems. So I said to the mother, you've seen every specialist in the state of California. Did anybody ask you, where did you live when you were pregnant? Nobody asked me. I'm home with my parents. I said, what do they do? They're almond farmers. I said, go home and get the spray they put on the almonds. She brought me a little bit of that spray that she was breathing every day while she was carrying the baby. I tested it homeopathically on the nerve degeneration point, and when I brought it down to one to a million, it balanced perfectly, and I gave the child a homeopathic way to help deal with the poison that had gone from her mother's body, concentrated, because it always leaves the mother, and it's concentrated in the baby. And I gave that, and that first week, we had the seizures down to less than four seizures a day from four per hour. It took a second visit to stop. The power that we have with homeopathy is that we can get a signal from so many things. So now, I have been excited because a lot of people can't get into all this technology, and it isn't a lot of people around that have the facility to offer what I just described. But I saw the cyber scan and I saw instantly, here was a device that could take whatever is imbalanced in your body, read it as a signal, and then it could invert that signal, and without even knowing that your mother lived with somebody that was spraying the almonds, you don't even need to know it. The report comes out and it has a lot of gobbledygook because we, in our medicine, we try to say this signal means breast cancer, this signal means Alzheimer's, this signal means you're gonna to die to you. These are different signals and they're not easy to read and we don't need to read them because what happened with me is I was, as I've been born sick, always trying to improve my health, I found that I could take a solution that had salt in it and I could put the signal from this cyber scan into that salt water, which I had taken before and it had done nothing. And instantly, within days, I was having no more problem getting up at night to urinate, no more back pain, and I would thought, how can it be that it's just obvious? Because there's, we need to make a homeopathic for how many poisons are in our body. You couldn't even think of all of them. So I bought the CyberScan because I want my fellow man to at least have a chance to take some good products. And I've mentioned we have a replacement for probiotics that every man, woman, and child needs because you've all lost the biodiversity. So there isn't anyone who wouldn't be taking Restore. But now I can make Restore and I can put the energy into the Restore and it'll help you on a homeopathic level start dealing with these challenges that you can't even figure. What did your mom do when she was pregnant? She may be dead. You don't even know. So how can you figure it out? But the body is all knowing and the CyberScan makes this message available and it gives a report that I as a doctor find interesting after I have you do several of them, I can see a trend that in all people staying on my program, whatever things were in your future, yes, most of us are gonna die of something. It's gonna be cancer, it's gonna be Alzheimer, heart The point is, I can see those tendencies in the future but I could see the tendency weaken and weaken each time you got your new, updated, treated, cyber scan, treated, restore, and other supplements that I use. Yeah, we also had some fun working with uh, the cyber scan and acupuncture. Yes. So the, 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 the acupuncture, of course, means technically that you can take the cyber scan and you can treat any part of the body or you can actually take and activate something that you choose to inject at an acupoint. So what were some of the things you encountered? Well, we, we, we did a bunch of acupuncture points that were, were indicated by the cyber scan. 
And we got some really good clinical results on the patients that uh, we treated that way. It was a lot of fun. It's pretty amazing that they've been able, that took many, many years of research in Germany, but a lot of this came from Germany. All of us at some point out there are going to have Alzheimer's or ALS or we're going to have a problem with a lung cancer. I mean, we do face these challenges. The CyberScan sees the tendencies early enough to imprint some energy so your body starts dealing with it and usually, if you keep doing it every two or three weeks, we see the tendency toward Alzheimer's or cancer going away, and then I can relax. Well, thank you for coming in and sharing all this fabulous information with us and for being a part of our world. It's been my pleasure. Thank you for working with our friends, getting them well with your wonderful Natural Medicine Center. Thank you for having it.